y'all do not go into a grocery store hungry baby do not do not do it we gonna talk in a little bit Hey guys, welcome to, welcome back to my channel. My name is India and in today's video, y'all, I just wanna talk. Um, I want someone to be encouraged. Look, I don't know who I'm making this video for, but I'm making it. Um, we gonna have a little transparency talk today um, and just tell you about my day, how it's going. Listen, I just got back from the grocery store. Just word of advice, if you are faster, intermittent faster, extended faster, whatever type of fasting you do, if you are hungry, never go inside of a grocery store. So I intended on this day to be a fasting day. I wanna take advantage um, of my day being busy. I worked a full shift and now I'm on my way to go paint faces. But uh, we'll get into that in a little bit, y'all. I just finished my one meal for the day. And so I kind of want to share that with y'all. So I'm about to insert this clip. Enjoy, and I'll be right back once I get to my destination. Guys, this is my meal for the day. We're doing one meal for the day as I typically do. I do it probably 80% of the time. And so we have this salad. My appetite you know i'm busy today i have a lot going on and so i'm not gonna eat too too much it is a little past five o'clock and i have to be out the house by 5 30 in order to make it to an event in time i will be painting faces later on this evening i've worked my eight hour shift and so here we are this is what i'm gonna eat hopefully it'll take me about 15 minutes to get it down all right, we have this salad here, the bed of lettuce. The salad blend is 60 calories. I have some Parmesan cheese on here, some hummus, and like some salad toppers. We have like the pecans, the cranberries. Um, the Parmesan is 68 calories. Um, the hummus is 290 calories. And the salad topper that's coming in at 242 calories. Back here, I have four slices of toast. This is the low calorie, uh, low carb toast. Y'all, real quick, what do you call this piece of the bread? Leave me a comment below. Let me tell you, when I ate the whole loaf, I ate the whole loaf, and this is pretty old, so I was trying to get rid of it. But what do you call this? I call it the butt, but let me know, comment below. So I have this four, these four pieces of toast. This is 180 calories. And then I have a bowl of fresh tangerines over here. This is running me 79 calories. So all in all, just the food here is gonna be 919 calories. And if I'm including my coffee and everything else that I blended with my coffee, I'm gonna be at 1,024 calories for today. Girl, this sun is just way too bright for me right now. So I'm about to go in here. I am at my destination. I'm just gonna do two hours of face painting. I do charge by the hour. So I'm gonna do two hours. I'm gonna go in here, might bring you with me. My shirts uh, that I done tie dye because I wear this shirt so much. It's a white shirt and I'm like, it's getting dingy. So let's, let's tie dye. So that's what we working with right now. I'm gonna go in here, paint these faces guys. And I will be back to sit down and talk like once I'm done, once I'm settled. That's just what we're gonna do. But let's go get set up.
All right, that event is over. I am going home. I'll see you guys at the house. It's like, dang, I'm just trying to get my message across. The sun done went down. I've been working all day. I just want someone to hear this message, but I'm going home. We're going to sit down and talk, hopefully. I don't know if I'm going to just park in my driveway. <laughs> Girl. Mm. Whew. It has been two days. It has been two days, guys, and I am wearing the same shirt. That is because I just finished up another event. I'm grateful to do what I do. I am super grateful to be an artist. I'm appreciative of the people who trust my skill, who, you know, admire my skill as an artist. Uh, so I'm grateful, but I am wearing the same shirt, just finished up at another event. And there's no way that I can let this video go without me leaving the message that I want to leave. So I'll try not to make it too long. Um, but the word for this video, the theme for this video is going to be overwhelmed. I think that is the best thing to describe uh, me as of now, as of the past week, as of the past two weeks, three weeks, as of the past month, this year. And so, um, yeah, I want to work a little bit more on managing that. But before I get into any of that, I do want to give an update on my mom. In the last video that I posted, um, I mentioned my mom being hospitalized. If you want to go watch that video, of course, I will leave it linked. But uh, she ended up having a stroke. Her MRI revealed that she actually had four mini strokes. So she was in the hospital, for, I want to say, for four days, three nights, she has since then been released from the hospital. So she is home, um, still recovering. There's a lot of things that's just going to change with her, with our family dynamic. Um, she is not 100%. The reason why she stayed in the hospital for so long was because she just was not stable enough to go home. So that's an update on my mom. She's doing fine. Um, you know, again, I'm I'm just trying not to overshare, but thank you guys for being concerned for the people who know me, family, friends, for the people who just watch my content. I really appreciate you just checking on me and checking on my family. So with that being said, guys, um, the one thing I noticed and I observed about myself is that we women, especially black women, come on now. We black women, we tend to put our mental health on the back burner. And I don't like talking about mental health too much because people just overdo it. People will use mental health as an excuse to act out and to do any and everything, to be criminals, to be mean to people. And so that's why I really don't talk about mental health that much. But it's, it's a necessity. It's something that we should talk about a little bit more. And although it gets a bad rep, it's, it's something we need to address a little bit more. And so um, mentally, I just have been very drained. Uh, personal life, work life, mother, like what a, in every area, in every aspect of my life, I feel like I have been very overwhelmed. Now, I'm used to being stressed out or to being overwhelmed, but it's at the point to where every single thing in my life is just overwhelming, okay? And so um, that has affected the, you know, my motivation overall. I just have not been motivated. I'm a person, I lack motivation as is, but lately I have not been motivated to do good, to do anything. And, and with that being said, you know, I haven't been motivated to take care of my wellness, my health, my diet. And cause I just don't want to, I don't want to put the extra effort into doing good. And so that made me think, you know, and this is where discipline comes in, but me and in the last video, guys, I'm all over the place and I'm trying not to make this too long. But in the last video, I talked about stress eating. I talked about emotional eating and all of that. And this week, it's the same thing. You know, I'm just wanting to use an excuse to eat any and everything, eat any kind of way. And I physically don't want the food. I just want to eat it just because I feel like I need to be eating a certain way because I'm stressed out. And so 
it's just it's all weird to me but here's the thing here's what i want you to do and again this message is for someone first of all we have to start um, investing in our mental health and really taking care of ourselves okay we have to figure out what we can do what we can control okay a lot of things we cannot control but a lot of things that's stressing me out right now are things that I can control and I can change so the first thing I am going to do is to eliminate what's not serving me if it's not bringing me some kind of peace joy money happiness whatever I have to start eliminating that and everything that brings you money is not going to be good for your mental health so um, just with working being a freelance artist everything of that nature I have to start narrowing down um the things that i don't mind doing what i like doing because I, I honestly i don't need to be working this much because i can't deliver the way i need to so i really need to just niche down because like i'm a graphic designer i design websites i you know paint i do a lot of artwork and it's to the point where i really need to narrow down and you know reduce my services just so I can function like a normal human being. And I think just that alone will eliminate a lot of stress that I'm experiencing. But uh, yeah, if you get anything from this video, just whatever you can control that is stressing you out, you need to figure out a way to fix it. You need to figure out a way to manage it. And that are, that's the things that's within your control so if it's a bad relationship maybe cut that relationship off it's hard but it's necessary if it's um a bad friendship or you know you have a toxic relationship with food figure out what's within your control and start working on that and so yeah i got a lot of work to do i've been you know working on decluttering my house i have a plan for that um but yeah, it's a couple of days later. I don't even know what I've said in this video thus far, but I did want to get on here and leave you with something, give you an update on my mama, you know what I'm saying? And that's another thing. Just with the health issues that she's experiencing, y'all, it's it's been bothering me because my mom, uh, she was obese at one point um, and she has lost a significant amount of weight. I want to say she lost around 100 pounds. So when she um, first got diagnosed with like heart failure, congestive heart failure, that's when she started, you know, her diet and everything. So, you know, it took her getting sick for her to really want to focus on her diet. But she lost a good amount of weight doing like a low sodium diet. And so I look at myself and I look at all the things that she's still experiencing and sometimes I second guess myself and I wonder if what I'm doing is even enough. Is it even worth it? Is it even going to be effective, right? And so, yeah, I've, I've been doing a lot of thinking. And so I'll, I'll leave you with that, guys. Thank you for listening to me ramble. Thank you for watching this video. If you made it this far in this video, consider subscribing to my channel again. Thank you for watching. Good luck on your journeys and I will see you in the next one. I so Tell me what it is. What you want from me? What you want from me? Tell me what it is, don't tell me what it ain't They try to throw salt, it just made the pressure raise Going through a phase